In this last example, we're trying to find all the vertical asymptotes of this trig function, uh, tangent of pi over 32 theta. Uh, one quick little note on trig functions. Uh, we always deal with trig functions uh, in terms of angles that are in radians. So it's the only way, uh, and that goes back to those two trig limits that I mentioned uh, in the, uh, the notes uh, that goes back to that uh, limit sign x over x. Uh, required us to be in radians. So all of our calculus with trig functions is going to require us to be in radians. And so consider here this function tangent pi over 32 theta. Well, what we've just discussed with rational functions uh, has to do with vertical asymptotes have to do with when the denominator is zero but the numerator is not. So first thing we should do is write tangent as a fraction. Tangent is sine over cosine, recall. And so we need to find our vertical asymptotes. We need to find them when the denominator is zero. And a quick reminder about sine and cosine. Uh, if you remember how their graphs kind of interact, they're never going to be zero at the same time. So when is cosine zero? When is cosine zero? Well, cosine, remember, in the unit circle is the x-coordinate. So we need the radian measures when the x-coordinate is going to be zero. And that occurs up here on the y-axis uh, at pi over 2 and also on the y-axis here at 3 pi over 2. Or any angle that's coterminal with those. And so you could say pi over 2 plus any multiple of 2 pi or 3 pi over 2 plus any multiple of 2 pi, or realize that these two are a half turn away from each other. So we can actually get by with pi over 2 plus any multiple of pi, a half turn or a full turn. Even multiples would be a full turn. Half multiples would be, or uh, odd multiples would involve a half turn. And so as we write this out, that pi over 32 theta will be either equal to pi over 2 or plus any multiple of pi. Plus any multiple of pi, because we're finding all vertical asymptotes, not all, just all the ones between 0 and 2 pi, but everywhere. Everywhere. And again, we're looking at pi over 32 uh, theta. So that's what pi over 32 theta has to be. But we need to solve for theta, and that's going to involve multiplying by the reciprocal 32 over pi. Now, when we multiply by 32 over pi, the pi's are just going to cancel out on the right-hand side. And then we're, because uh, <clears throat> it's 32 over pi, so the pi's in the bottom, so they all cancel out. And then at the top, we're multiplying by 32. So that's going to give us theta equals, well, 32 and 2 will cancel to be 16. And then uh, the pi is gone, and it's just going to be plus 32k. So the values for theta that will lead the vertical asymptotes are anything of the form 16 plus a multiple of 32. So that would be like 16, 48, or 16 minus 32, would be negative 16. 16 minus 32 times negative 2 would be negative 48, and so on. And so on. Those are all of our places where we're going to have vertical asymptotes uh, for this uh, trig function.